Good evening, Southwest Louisiana. <laughs> it's once again we're happy to be on airwaves, bringing you some good information. Something very important is happening. We have a very special guest in the studio with us. Put your hands together. Give a big 104.9 welcome to none other than the head coach at McNeese State University, Coach Gidry. Put your hands together. Come on, show some love. Don't have sound effects. Real sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> coach, thank you so much for coming by, man. We really appreciate it. I appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. Now, now are we hear something major is going on July 22nd. What's going on? Well, we have a football camp that we are putting on, uh, us in Ward 3, basically. Uh, all of our coaches are going to be out there, all the full-time coaches as well as our graduate assistants. And then probably about 20 or 30 of our football players will be out there also. They'll be there in their uniforms and uh, just giving back to you know, to the uh, city of Lake Charles, uh, we're going up, we're going to North Lake Charles and Gosport, which McNeese has really never done before. But I feel it's really important that we reach out and kind of bridge that gap between South Lake Charles and North Lake Charles. That's cool. Man, that's, that, that, that is awesome. So, so we have a camp that's coming up July 22nd at MLK Center, correct? That's correct. It's a free football camp. It's a back to school football camp in Gosport. Um, so it's grades one through fifth. Uh, we're giving away free T-shirts, some back sacks. Uh, we're going to have hot dogs and hamburgers. We even got a call today from uh, from another place that wants to come out there and cook as well. So uh, it's going to be really good. We got enough gifts for 700 children. So we have 500 T-shirts and 200 back sacks. So uh, our coaches are really excited to go and just give back and just kind of get in touch with, you know, North Lake Charles. That's cool. So they have enough T-shirts for us. Yes, Man, that's, that's awesome. Cool. That is awesome, Coach. Now, now, give me the um, give me the plan and the vision for for this camp. How, how did this come about, and how did you decide to do it, and why did you pick this location? Well, you know, I grew up in a small town of Welch, Louisiana, and uh, my daddy was very influential in my life, and uh, I got a chance to coach football now, and so I really don't work. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's play to me, but, you know, the Lord has blessed me in life to be able to coach. So there's a lot of kids that um, that probably look at like they didn't have a chance to uh, get to the next level to play college ball or even be a coach. But on our staff, we have four African-American coaches that all played at McNeese. Some played in the NFL. And I think that some of these young men uh, growing up in North Lake Charles needs to see these people. And I just think it's important that they have mentors like them and just giving back to the to the youth of the city. And, uh, you know, it's a blessing to me. To me, I'm not going out of the way. I'm just doing what I'm called to do. So, uh, you know, that's just my that's nature. Awesome. That's good. See some positive role so models. So now the tell area. the parents. Tell the parents how they need to dress, how they need to send their kids, what time they need to get there. Give us a rundown right now. They need to get there around 8 o'clock. We're going to register from 8 to 9. Uh, they need to come in tennis shoes or cleats. We prefer cleats uh, and shorts. Uh, we're going to provide a T-shirt for them, so they'll have that. They can wear it at the camp. Uh, we, we really want them to wear it at the camp because we're going to take a bunch of pictures. And then, of course, they can take pictures with uh, some of our football players that will be out there. They can sign autographs uh, and do all that. And we'll also have some full-time assistant coaches that Zach Bronson played in the NFL with the 49ers and Kerry Joseph played with the Redskins, Seattle Seahawks, and the Bengals at, as well as the CFL. So they are on our staff and uh, just some great mentors. And uh, it's just going to be an exciting time on that Saturday. 8 to 9 is registration, and we're looking at going from about 9 to about 1130 okay. with, actual, with actual coaching and, and skills. Uh, so did you have on. enough volunteers for registration, or do you need any help? or anything Oh, like we that? could always use help. Uh, you know, we're going to bring them through the, the uh, table line, and all we really need is their grades and with T-shirt size. Okay. And okay. so we don't need to get anything else from them. Coach uh, Kip. Tejada, I should say over Ward 3, him and Tony Citizen will be out there helping us as well. So uh, we'll, we'll take any help that we can okay, get. Okay, cool. So there are volunteer opportunities. Come on out. Coach? Yeah, so, Coach, tell me about tell me about the season coming up. I, I saw that you guys are ranked 24th uh, in the polls. What do you what do you think about that ranking and, and, and what, what's your prediction for this season for McNeese? Well, I, I like where we're ranked. I don't want to ever be ranked too high unless I know I've got a really, really good team coming back. But I do think we're going, we've are we got a talented team. Our quarterback's coming back. Uh, he's got two more years and all of our wide receivers are back along with our running backs. So feeling really good about that. Uh, got a couple transfer offensive linemen in. 
So I think we're going to be able to score a lot of points. We call our offense Showtime like the Los Angeles <laughs> Lakers. So we just need Magic jo Johnson quarterbacking for us, and we'll be all right. But, uh, of course, I'm a defensive guy, so our motto on defense is defense with an attitude. We took it from the old NWA group way back in the 90s, late 80s, early 90s. We've been calling ourselves DWA since 1990. So we're defense with attitude. Uh, we go out there and we kind of – we are our own fraternity, you okay. know. You know, you got the Omegas, you got the Kappas, you got the Sigmas, but on defense, we DWA, and we're a band of brothers. So we'll be good on defense again this year, and, uh, you know, I've got high expectations. We always talk about winning the national championship. We've been there twice. We've lost twice, but maybe the third time's a charm, and uh, it's going to be an exciting year, I think. Oh. Man, that, Coach, that is, that is great. So we got an up-tempo offense. We can look for scoring a lot of points. You're a defense guy and, and at your core, so you're kind of like me. When I watch the college game and all the spread offenses, part of me cringes because I'm like, man, I kind of miss the days of the 13 to 10 game, you know. I know those days may be long gone, yeah. but I, I kind of miss them, you know. I do too. Uh, you know, our offense, they do throw the ball a lot. We also run. I just tell them, look, don't snap the ball every 15 seconds. Let's use up the whole time, you know, on the play clock because – uh, you, the defense can't play 100 and something snaps a game. So we try and limit our snaps around 70 or 80. Uh, two years ago when I was a coordinator, we were a top 10 defense in the nation. Last year we slipped off a little bit. Uh, I wasn't defense coordinator. I kind of hired a guy, but I kind of take him back over. So hopefully we get the defense back on track along with this um, high-flying offense, and uh, I think we'll make a run. Wow, that's, that, that, that's amazing. So I tell you, one, one more time, give us a quick rundown for the parents and the grandparents and the big brothers and the cousins, everybody who listen. How can they get their young people involved? What's the target age group? Just give us a, a complete rundown one more time for the camp. Okay, we're targeting the first through fifth graders. Uh, we want the little kids. Uh, we, you know, we've, we've done a, a high school camp and a junior high camp, along with some young kids up to this day. But we just thought that if we could reach out and give a free camp, you know, there might be a parent that has four or five children that can't pay $40 a kid or $100 a kid. So this is our way of giving back. So we want first through fifth graders. Uh, they need to get them there at the MLK Center um, at 8 o'clock for registration. And then at 9 o'clock. We'll, uh, we'll start drills. We'll start off with stretch lines, and then we'll have different competitions like tug of war. Uh, we'll have who's the fastest kid in the camp each grade, and we we want everybody watching too. So if the big brothers and mamas and grandmothers want to come out there and watch, the more the merrier. Uh, we'll have breaks underneath some tents, and we'll have power aid to give to them. So we're just looking to enjoy the kids in South in uh, North Lake Charles, uh, which we haven't done ever. And I mean, no, ever. Uh, at one time, we was going to move it to um, LCB, but uh, we kind of got our arm twisted to do it in Gosport. And I really want to do it in Gosport. I wanted to go as far north as I could. I want to be on the north side of Interstate 10 uh, because I think that's the biggest bridge that we need to, uh, you know, gap. We need to gap north and south Lake Charles. Uh, so I'm going to do my part in it. And uh, I think it's important that McNeese uh, does things like this. All right, Coach, I tell you, um, if there's a young man um, who's listening right now who's dreaming of playing for McNeese and say he's, you know, 12 or 13 years old, what's the best advice you could give him right now of how to prepare himself to play college ball? Well, number one, I think he ought to be thinking about his education first because one day the helmet's going to come off of your head no matter if you play in the NFL or if you play college or you play high school. So you need to try and get an education past high school, uh, wherever it is, whether it's technical school, college, whatever college you choose, whether it's McNeese, Southern, Grambling, LSU, University of Texas, Texas a and whatever it may be. But you got to have dreams and you got to have goals and you got to work toward it every day. And, you know, there's old cliche, write down your goals. It's You need to write them down. You need to put them up on your wall. It doesn't matter what kind of home you come from. I'm married to a woman that grew up in Sunlight manor right here in lake charles first one to go to college and her family graduated uh just like me i had nobody in front of me that had ever went to college or graduated i was the first one so me and my wife were both trailblazers i call us and now it's expected by our by our, our two daughters you know and my son so uh you need to write down your goals and if you want to play college football you need to make sure you get the grades but then you have to put in the time of all the drills that you can 
you can learn from these camps and also YouTube. I mean, YouTube has so much information now with different drills to do and, and listen to your coaches. You know, your coaches are there. You know, sometimes we won't listen to outside resources too much, but those coaches are the ones we talk to when we go into schools because they probably give us the most accurate information for us in football. And basketball is a little different with AAU basketball and all that, but we listen to the high school coaches. We still depend on them. And a ball, when a coach says, you know what, coach, I can tell you one thing. He's a good football player, but let me tell you something else. He has great character. You know, and, and that's what we're missing today. I think the big picture is we need more kids with character, and that starts at home. It used to be the old grandmas in the house, you know, if the mom and dad wasn't there. But, you know, we, we need good character kids, and that's what we look for at McNeese. Doesn't matter which ethnicity, if you come from rich, poor, what school is. If that coach says he has good character, I'll stick out my neck for a kid like that that can play. So do you go re recruit from the high schools in the area? Yeah, we do. And, and, you know, some of the local high schools wish we would take more kids. We can't take them all. You know, we branch all the way to Dallas. We got a couple commitments out of Dallas this year that's coming in. And uh, we'll go to Houston and New Orleans and all pretty much down Interstate 10. And we get in North Louisiana. But we would really love to sign as many as we could locally, but at the same time, it's a business. We try and find the best athletes with the best character, with the best grades, and sometimes they come outside of Lake Charles. Uh, so I've got to feed my family too, yes. you know. <laughs> got to keep it going, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, sports preacher, right, do you have so anything else? Just a, just a quick recap. Just a quick recap so everybody can, can hear the, the key points. July 22nd, registration at 8 a.m. The the actual camp is from 9 to 11.30. They need to dress comfortably, shorts, tennis shoes, T-shirts. They're going to feed them when they get there. This is going to be a wonderful afterwards. event. Afterwards. Right at, yeah. afterwards, I'm sorry. They got to play they're first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So they're going to feed them afterwards. Make sure they get up enough time, have a good breakfast, and there'll be plenty of play water for them to stay hydrated. But this is a wonderful opportunity, and we want to make sure that all the kids are out there at the Martin Luther King Center. Before, hey, you know what? Let's get there before 8 a.m. so registration can go fast. They can hear them and get to the right. fun. That sounds like a plan to me. Sounds good. I think I might go out there and learn a few things. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I've been trying to be. teach you the difference between a 4-3 and a 3-4, and, and I, I started to think of if, if we ever get to the 3-3-5 or get to the dime or, you know, <laughs> any other kind of packages. I, I, but I'm bound and determined yeah. to get her to be a football head. I want her to talk football jargon that can be able to hold on. So. I, I, I don't need all those numbers. You just went all over my head, 1 through 10. And well, I tell you what, my <laughs> wife is a coach's wife, and she still don't understand why you punt. So why would you punt it back to the other team? I just don't understand that. Is it because it's too far for the first down, and we're back in our red zone? What? what? I said never mind. <laughs> never, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. That's true. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. We enjoy. We we will be out there to support. I'm sure uh, we can. We have plenty of people here that can volunteer and help you out. So we'll be out there to support you. Well, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Macnees coaches and players were really excited to do this, and uh, we really look forward to spending a lot of good time and quality time with these yeah, kids. All right, well, thank you for coming through. Well, thank I tell you. you, yeah, Coach, we we really appreciate we really appreciate you coming in, and I would say don't forget about us here at Live One Hundred Four Point Nine, especially uh, you know the Sports Preacher Show, man. We would love to come out and support you guys and and partner with you where we can. So thank you so much for giving back to the neighborhood. We really appreciate it. Thank you.